Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was a spouse of Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought of these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Not just God for us, but God's with us. Amen. How many of you know the difference? Yes. Did Joseph be raised from sleep? Did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took an unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And Joseph called his name Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angels of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. A Savior. Which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made not, and they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in their heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. We as born-again Christians celebrate today the birth of Christ. But if you don't celebrate it 364 more days, you've got a problem. We celebrate the birth of Christ every day. Because without Him, as the Bible says, there is no way, no salvation is found in any other. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. All roads don't lead to Rome. We talked about this. Okay? There were thousands of flights canceled and none of them were going to Rome. 
We know that Jesus lived a sinless, holy, perfect life. He that knew no sin became sin. We read in John chapter 19 and verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished! And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Celebration, Resurrection Day, Easter, whatever you want to call it. We celebrate that whenever they schedule it on our calendar. But if we don't celebrate that 364 other days, we have a problem. It was bloody, it was brutal, it was grotesque, but Jesus fulfilled the prophecies, Jesus fulfilled his purpose, and became the only sacrifice for sin. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I love it when John the Baptist said, Behold, yes. Lamb of God that taketh away the Sin. Sin. Got it all in one shot. Sin. 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 Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> Matthew 28, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it had begun to draw on toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came back and rolled the stone from the door. And then he sat on it. <laughs> can, I just, can I just tell you in my imagination what the angel looked like? <clears throat> you talk about gang stuff. Say, look. Do you understand who and what you're dealing with? His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as stone. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye are looking for Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Where he, had, where he had laid. He ain't there no more. Mm. And then the angel said, Go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee, where ye shall see him. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy. Hello, somebody. Amen. So again, Good Friday, Resurrection Sunday. Doesn't matter. We celebrate Christ yes. in His fullness yes. every day. Yes. Amen. Yes. We receive the blessings of Christ yes. every day. Yes. Oh, but the story doesn't stop there. Acts chapter 1. The former treatise, Have I made no Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach? <laughs> Until the day in which he was taken up. And after he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive. After his passion by many infallible proofs. Being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them and commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father. Which saith ye, ye have heard of me. That promise is what? John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him 
out of their sight. Now listen, Jesus accomplished his works on the earth. Then he ascended into heaven. And now he is doing works for the earth. First Timothy 2, 12, 2, 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Talked about this a Sunday or two ago. I love the way that that is said. I love the way that that is stated. It's Jesus the man that is mediating for us. Why? Because he is a high priest, knows all things that we are tempted with, and all things that we are going through. So when you cry out to God, God, you have no clue what's going on down here. Jesus steps in and says, Dad, I got an idea. Because I was there, and I did that. I had that happen to me. Oh, I'm being backstabbed right through the heart from a very close friend. Jesus saying, Dad, I got this. I know all about that. Hebrews 7.25 Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for us. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, but one more thing. The story still has not ended. 1 Thessalonians 4.13 I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. You can go sit on their grave. You ain't going to keep them from going. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be from that point on with the Lord. Getting up into heaven. Mm. Mm -hmm. No clocks. Yeah. No calendars. <laughs> no years. <laughs> How long we been here? <laughs> don't know, don't care, don't matter. Because right. right. yeah. <laughs> every day is just starting all over again. First Thessalonians 4.18 Comfort one another with these words. And I know we've kind of lost that flavor. But remember, the early church greeted themselves, greeted each other with Maranatha, yes. Yes. which means the Lord cometh. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Wow. The Lord cometh. The story didn't end in the manger. The story didn't end in the cross. The story didn't end in the grave. The story didn't end in his ascension, and our story is about to really begin. We celebrate the birth of Christ. We every day we celebrate the birth of Christ. We celebrate the life of Christ. Yes. We celebrate the death of Christ. Yes. We celebrate the resurrection of Christ. We celebrate the ascension of Christ, and we celebrate that He's coming back! Come on! Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hello, somebody. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. Amen. And there's all kinds of people right now, and I'm not talking about your, your crazy weights. 
talking about all kinds of sincere people that are having all kinds of dreams about the rapture. And in every single one of them, Jesus is saying, I'm coming sooner than you think. I'm coming sooner than you think. I'm coming sooner than you think. Mm. Hello, somebody. So we better be ready. That's right. Today. And then start it again tomorrow. Amen. Be ready. Well, what if it doesn't happen until... So? <laughs> Occupy. Until he comes. Yes, yes, yes. So, now we move to 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. For I, am, I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, which he had sub saying, The cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink in it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Now listen, for if we judge ourselves, we should not and shall not be judged. Amen. Now, when we say these things, in absolute respect, there ain't none of us worthy Amen. of what Christ did for us. Amen. Ain't none of us ever going to get worthy Amen. of what Christ did for us. But because of what he did for us, he has made us worthy. And we need to grab a hold of that. Well, you don't understand. 30 years ago, if, if you've repented of what happened 30 years ago, it no longer exists in your life. Praise It may exist in your mind, but it doesn't exist in heaven. I cast your sins, your forgiven sins, as far as the east is from the west. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God has selective amnesia. Into the sea of forgetfulness. Hey, thank you, Lord. <coughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. So I, I want to take, and because of absolute, because I, listen, this, this, uh, these are, we're going to do the self-contained, uh, difficult to open <laughs> communion, kids, but listen to me. This is not, to, to, I don't know what it is to you. I don't know. But this to me is not juice. And a wafer. This is the body of Christ that was shed, broken, battered, beaten, brutalized for me. Thank you. He did not deserve it. I did. And at times still do. So this this isn't just look, you know. To be taken lightly. This is not to be just taken as whatever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is to be taken with full respect, full reverence, and full honor. So we're going to go into a time of prayer. You just pray. Examine yourself. If you need to repent, now would be a good time to repent. If you want to make sure all is taken care of, now would be that time. The church said, Amen. Amen. Let's take a few moments between you and God. Thank you, Jesus.
the Lord this morning. Now I'm going to say something that's rather blunt, abrupt, and pretty hard to swallow. If you take of the communion not worthy because you're not right with God, you may be in trouble. Amen. It's disrespectful. Amen. It's irreverent. Amen. But listen, if you've asked God to forgive you, and you've asked God to cleanse you, and you've repented and said, God, I am truly sorry, and you still don't take this, that's irreverent also because you're saying it's not good enough. I, I, I hope somebody hears that this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've asked for repentance. I've asked the cleansing blood of Jesus to wash me clean. But I still can't take it because I don't trust it. Mm -hmm. No. No. But uh, again, now listen. Final statement. How many of you say, Dan, your final statement. <laughs> All right. Examine yourselves and decide for yourself. And there is therefore now no condemnation to anyone in here that does or does not. And we're not going to look around and look to see who's not taking it and then talk about it. That's not between you and them. Church said. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to have Roxy help me, Daryl. Is that okay? Yes. Brother Daryl, Sister Roxy, will you come up this morning? And when you receive this, just hold it and we'll go through the 10 point instructions on how to open it up. <laughs> we'll just take one and the left side, Daryl, get the right side. Amen. I'm ready, Roxy. I'm ready. So am I. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me and use me. Spirit of the living God fall fresh on me. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King. Hold your bread up. Father, we thank you for the body of Christ. To die on the cross for us. We receive it today. We receive the blessings that are attached to it today. We celebrate. As brutal as it was, we celebrate the broken body of Christ because it was for us. Yes. 
Bless it today. In the name of Jesus. And the church said. Amen. Break it and then eat it. And if you will kind of break back the second plastic flap, you'll have access to the juice and raise it up also. Father, once again, we thank you for the blood of Christ. Yes. The blood of Christ that brought in the new covenant. For us. That was shed in the garden. That was shed at the whipping post. That was shed in the courthouse. And that was shed on the cross. We celebrate the blood of Christ. Let it be a blessing to us. We bless it to our body. Let it bring health spiritually. Mentally, physically, financially, maritally, and family. In Jesus' name, and he drank it all. Now if you would just place that on the seat, we will pick it up. Brother Darrell, would you come this morning and sing one verse? Of all the blood of Jesus. I am so appreciative. Of every single one of you. You have honored this church. On Christmas day. Thank you for coming. And I hope that God blesses. Each and every one of you. Amen. Merry Christmas. to come until your son comes back to claim his bride. And Father, we just thank you, we praise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May you be blessed.